What's up guys, Sammy here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install a Plex Media Server on your QNAP NAS. And what a Plex Media Server allows you to do is organize all of your movies, TV shows, music, and photos in one destination. And then you can actually view that content pretty much on the go or at home on different devices such as iOS, Android, Windows Phone, and the list goes on. So what we're going to do is we are going to uh, pretty much walk through the steps of installation and then also setting up and running it as well. So what we'll do is head over to plex.tv. I will leave a link in the description and then we want to head over to the downloads page. So from here, we want to click on download and we want to select the version. So we're going to be selecting QNAP and click on download. Now underneath here, we have a few options, but we are, we are going to be focusing on Intel 32-bit QTS 4.2 uh, and older. However, if you have a 64-bit processor and you have QTS 4.3 or newer, I would select that one. The other ones are also available, RMV7, but uh, yeah, so that's the main one that we're going to be clicking on. So we'll download that and that is going to do that in the background. But also we're going to need to sign into our NAS, our QNAP NAS. So what you can see here is I'm um, in my dashboard. We're going to click on login. And so from here, we want to head over to our app center to install the Q package file manually. So what we can see here is we have the app center here. However, if you don't see it, you can click on the top here in the main menu and click on app center. Okay, so from here, we want to install our application manually. So if you go up to the top here, it's got a little gear icon. It's also settings. So under here, we want to click on browse, find our Plex Media Server package. You've possibly downloaded it in your downloads folder. Uh, so we're going to click on that and click on install and click OK. So from here, it's going to install the package. And from there, we were able to pretty much start setting up Plex and get it running. Uh, you can also give your server, your Plex server, a name so that it can be seen to different devices. And uh, yeah, so what we're going to do is uh, it should be done in just a second. And there we go. So we'll click on OK, click close, and now we can actually open up Plex Media Server. So we'll click on Open. So from here, you'll see that the port is under 32400. You will need to port forward that on your modem or router uh, so that it's accessible outside if you want to be able to access your media outside the network via the internet. Uh, so we're going to click on Got It here. And uh, yeah, so we've got a few options here. If you want to install, not install, sorry. If you do want to subscribe to Plex Pass, you can do that. You get some other features as well. Um, we may go over that in the future, uh, but yeah, we're going to click on close there and we are going to give our server a name. So I'm just going to call it Phoenix NAS. That's what I've chosen to call my Plex server. And we also want to allow me to access my media outside my home. That's personal preference, but that's what I like to do. I like to be able to watch my movies, maybe at a friend's house or whatever like that. So we'll click on next. This is going to just do some setup internally. And so now we're also going to add some libraries and organize our library. So what we'll do is we'll select the type of content that we want to add. So I want to select movies, for example. Actually, we'll do TV shows uh, first. And so we'll click on next. We'll browse for the media folder. Usually on QNAP, it's located under share. And so then your folder structures should be here. So for example, I've got Phoenix and then media server and television. So I've got all of those folders there with my TV shows. And now we can click advanced uh, right here. And so make sure the uh, agent is selected as the TV DB. Uh, and so yeah, we can pretty much do add library. Now I actually like to add the TV shows first and I'll show you guys why. Um, because sometimes I have issues with adding movies. So what I'm going to do now is go up to uh, settings here. We're gonna go to server, we're gonna go to agents, and under movies, we'll have a few options that we need to disable just to make it a little bit easier on ourselves. So I'm gonna actually uncheck local media assets under Plex Movie. I'm going to uncheck that one as well. And so we're also gonna uncheck under the movie database, local media assets. This just makes it a little bit easier when searching for movies. 
um, instead of it grabbing the file name it's actually going to just search the database as we can see here so we'll go back to home and so from here we can actually add our movies folder so we're going to go to movies click next browse for the media again it's going to be under your share folder uh, and wherever you actually put the uh, the movies in and there we go I can add them to that and I can also disable or enable other things as well so we want to go under the Plex movie database I'm happy with that and I can click on also if I want to country used for release date and age uh, and content rating I should say and I'll click Australia just because it's local for me uh, but yeah so now at this point what's gonna happen is it's just going to scan all of my uh, my hard drive uh, to pretty much ensure that all of the files are, are there it's going to scan them and add them uh, and actually start to process all of the content so as you can see here it's starting to process uh, all of the TV shows that I've got and also movies will eventually uh, come after that as well so what we can also do is we can go down to settings uh, we can go to server uh, library and update my library periodically so I actually like to do this every 15 minutes um, based on the fact that I'm sometimes I've got new content coming on to the, the NAS every now and then and so this is just going to update it just make sure that everything's up to date as well but uh, what I will do is I will come back in just a second when everything's sort of uh, pretty much finished and I'll show you guys what the finished library looks like all right so we're back and as you can see we have all of our TV shows and movies loaded so I want to show you just a little tip here if you want to change the cover art for any of the movies what we can do is we can head over to movies or if the same for TV shows and say we don't like there is maybe a uh, for example this one here I want to change the cover art of this one so we're going to click on that click on poster and then we can choose which poster we want so I kind of want this one right here click on save changes and there we go we've got that now if we click on this uh, movie we can also see we can see a lot of information all the metadata information so for example we can see subtitles that are available we can see uh, the quality of the, the actual movie if it's got DTS 5.1 directed by written by the studio itself so you can click on that and find other movies by that studio so it really sort of allows you to see a whole lot of stuff including the cast list related movies so if I wanted to I can find more movies in my library by Eddie Murphy and uh, there you go so that's pretty much what it is in a nutshell same with TV shows um, you can sort of edit it to your heart's desire and yeah that's pretty much what this video is all about hopefully you guys found this tutorial helpful I will be doing more QNAP videos uh, QNAP tutorials uh, in the future in the near future so let me know in the comments below if there is anything that you would like me to cover um, but yeah hope you guys have an awesome day let me know in the comments below if you yourself use uh, Plex Media Server and uh, also if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give the video a like and subscribe for more videos but yeah that's gonna be it catch you guys in the next one peace